One of the things I'm hearing a lot from students and always do is their need for that feeling of confidence. They're not feeling ready and they're not feeling confidence. I think the subject of confidence is very important. I'm spending quite a lot of time on that concept because it does impact the decisions that they make about how they study. The the first thing we really need to keep reiterating to students is that confidence is a feeling, not a reality. Probably the, the worst advice or the worst thing that they do is do easy questions to build confidence. They're like, I'm going to do like easier questions so that I can build confidence because if I feel a bit more confident, then I will be able to tackle something else. And to some extent, it, it, sound, it, it, it seems like there's a little bit of logic in, in that idea because we're like, well, maybe, you know, I'm on a roll, I'm getting momentum. And if I feel good about it, then, you know, like it's just going to. But the problem is that they sit in exactly the same position because they haven't improved the skill that's getting in the way. So they'll do the easier question, they'll feel better, but it's false because in the moment that they touch proper question, they're back in exactly the same position. But now they feel worse because they're like, I did this easier question and I could do it. So things are going right and now it's going wrong again. Um, And so now this is just, it's not working. It's not actually fixing the underlying issue, which is that they're not building the skill that they need to approach difficult questions. So you know, if you're talking to students, confidence is very, very important, but it's also very misunderstood. So I'm very clear about like, I don't care how you feel because confidence is a feeling and it's not a reality. And if you're waiting, you're waiting for that feeling of I'm going to know what to do before you actually do it. And it's, it can't be done. You cannot be confident that you're a good driver until you've actually gotten in the car and driven. And the first time you get in a car and drive, you will not be a good driver. That bears no no representation on how good of a driver you're going to be. You know, you may be an amazing driver in the future, but the first time you get in the car, you will suck at it. Your confidence will be built as you do it, um, as opposed to waiting for that feeling of, I'm going to be okay. I know my stuff. So I'm very specific with students at the moment. Um, Your confidence has got to be taken out of the equation. Uh, Confidence, we think, or they think predominantly that confidence comes from knowing the answer. Like if I know that I will know the answer to the questions and exams, then I can feel confident. And until that point in time, I am uncertain, I'm not confident, and therefore they hide away in theory because they're waiting for that feeling. And to a large extent, the reason they're waiting for that feeling is because that's how they used to study. They used to get to a point in earlier levels of study where they did know that they would know the answer because the exams were very different, et cetera. You know, not going to go into that now, but... They remember how it feels to know that they were going to know the answer because the exams were predominantly theory-based. And they're looking to get back to that feeling. So it's like hunting down something that doesn't exist anymore. So they sit in this place where they're like, I'm not confident. Maybe if I gather more theory, maybe if I just quickly revise something, maybe if I go through another lecture, maybe if I then I will feel like I know the answer, but we get back to exactly the same place. The moment they start the question, they don't know what to do. They don't know where to go. And the confidence comes crashing to the ground again. So separating how you feel from how you study is absolutely, absolutely crucial. I'm very against the idea of encouraging them to look for confidence, Um, you know, build confidence by doing this, build confidence by doing that, because their understanding of confidence is, oh, okay, so you're telling me that I'm going to get to a point where I will know what the answer is. 
that is their understanding of confidence. Um, which means you're lying to them because they won't. They're never going to be in that position. Confidence, their confidence needs to be based on their ability to break an unseen problem down and start coming up with some kind of solution for that. And they will never know the answer ever again. But until they redefine their understanding of confidence, that's, that's not going to happen. One of the big pieces of advice that I'm spreading at the moment is be very careful that you're not allowing your desire to feel confident to get in the way of the way that you're studying.